Hi folks. So we have um, Miss Ruth here who's going to be talking to us um, a little bit more about rounding today. So like what we did in class. So um, here we go. Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Roos. Today we are going to round two and three digit numbers to the nearest 10 on a vertical number line. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin today with a fluency activity to prepare us for our lesson. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give you a number of tens on the screen. You are going to write on your whiteboard that number in standard form. So if I say nine tenths on your board, you will write 90. Ready? Let's try another one. 10 tenths. 100. 20 tenths. 200. 63 tenths, 630, 52 tenths, 520. Great job. Now let's begin our lesson. Let's round 28 minutes to the nearest 10 minutes. How many tens are in 28? Two tens. Let's label that on the bottom tick mark of our number line. What is one more ten than two tens? Three tens. Let's label that on our top tick mark. Now let's think, what number is halfway between 20 and 30? 25. In unit form, what number is halfway between two tens and three tens. Two tens, five ones. Let's record that as our halfway point on our number line. Now let's think about where 28 would go on our vertical number line. Make a point and plot 28 on your vertical number line now. I think it would be about here. 28 is two tens, eight ones. When you look at your vertical number line, is 28 more than halfway or less than halfway between 20 and 30? Discuss out loud how you know. Twenty-eight is more than halfway between 20 and 30. You can see that 25 is our halfway point and 28 is more than 25. Also, if we look at the numbers in unit form, 25 is two tens, five ones. 28 is two tens, eight ones. Eight ones is more than five ones. So what is 28 rounded to the nearest 10? 30. Tell me that statement in unit form. Two 
two tens, eight ones, rounded to the nearest ten, is three tens. Let's try another example. Go ahead and erase your board, but leave your number line and your tick marks. Now we are going to round 17 milliliters to the nearest 10 milliliters. Let's begin the same way we began our first problem, by thinking how many tens are in 17 milliliters? Whisper to me. One ten. Let's record that as our bottom end point. Now let's think, what is one ten more than one ten? Two tens. And what is two tens in standard form? Twenty. So twenty is the same as two tens. What number is halfway between ten and twenty? Tell me in standard and unit form. Fifteen. Fifteen in unit form is one ten five ones. Now let's plot seventeen on our vertical number line. We said earlier that 17 has one ten, seven ones. Is 17 more than halfway or less than halfway between 10 and 20? More than halfway. So 17 milliliters rounded to the nearest 10 milliliters is 20 milliliters. Let's say that in unit form. 110, seven ones rounded to the nearest 10 is two tenths. Let's try another one. To round 17 milliliters to the nearest 10, we made a number line with endpoints of 110 and 2 tenths. Talk out loud how our endpoints are going to change when we round 117 milliliters to the nearest 10. Maybe you noticed that each endpoint is going to have to grow by 100, since our total number grew by 100. How many tens are in 100? 10 tens. When I cover the ones place, you can see the 10 tens that make up 100. What is one more 10 than 10 tens? 11 tens. So how many tens are in 117? Discuss out loud. Maybe you tracked on your fingers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So 11 tens. Or maybe you thought back to our earlier problem of 17 milliliters and thought, well, 17 has 110. So 117 would have 10 tens plus 110. Or maybe you thought, well, 110 has 11 tens and then there's just seven ones. So 117 has 11 tens. What is one more 10 than 11 tenths? 
whisper that to me. Twelve tens. What is the value of twelve tens? One hundred twenty. So when we round one hundred seventeen to the nearest ten, what will our bottom end point be? One hundred ten, which is the same as eleven tenths. What about the top end point? One hundred twenty, which is the same as twelve tenths. How should we label our halfway point? One hundred fifteen, which we can see is eleven tenths, five ones. Let's go back to our original amount that we are trying to round, 117. Is 117 more or less than halfway between 110 and 120? Discuss out loud how you know. It's more than halfway. 117 is only three away from 120 and it's seven away from 110. It is also two more ones than our halfway point. Label 117 on your number line now. Use a complete sentence to tell me what 117 rounded to the nearest 10 is. 117 rounded to the nearest 10 is 120. Now tell me in unit form using tens and ones. Eleven tens, seven ones, rounded to the nearest ten, is twelve tens. What was seventeen rounded to the nearest ten? Twenty. What is one hundred seventeen rounded to the nearest ten? One hundred twenty. Remember from our lessons on telling time that the number line is continuous. The models we drew to round 17 milliliters and 117 milliliters to the nearest 10 were the same. They just showed different portions of the number line. These two points we put on our number lines are 100 milliliters apart. Take a moment now to discuss the similarities and the differences between rounding within these two intervals allowed. Maybe you noticed that all the numbers were in the same place. We just wrote a one in front of them to show that they were 100 more. And in both number lines, we paid attention to the number of tens. Let's try rounding a few more three digit numbers to the nearest 10. Go ahead and erase your boards. This time, let's round 315 milliliters to the nearest 10 milliliters. Let's begin by asking ourselves, how many tens are in 315? 31 tens. In standard number is 310. What is one ten more than 31 tens? 32 tenths. And what is that number in standard form? 320. That becomes our top tick mark. Now on your own, find the halfway point and round 315 milliliters 
to the nearest 10 milliliters. Pause the video to do that now. Go ahead and check your work against my work. You notice that I have a point next to 315, which is also our halfway point on our vertical number line. Remember the convention in mathematics. When the number you are rounding is the halfway point, you round up. So in this case, 315 milliliters is about 320 milliliters. I also want to draw your attention to the symbol I used to signify that it is about. This is an approximation symbol. Notice that the lines are not straight like they are in an equal sign. You will see this on your problem set today. Let's practice with this symbol and one more amount. Go ahead and erase your board. For our last practice problem today, on your own, round 103 kilograms to the nearest 10 kilograms. Don't forget to ask yourself the question, how many tens are in 103? What is one more 10? And then find your halfway point. Go ahead and push pause on the video now to complete rounding 103 kilograms to the nearest 10. Go ahead and check your work against my work. In this case, our number of 103 was less than halfway between 100 and 110. So I knew to round down to 100. So to complete my equation, 103 kilograms is about 100 kilograms. I think we're ready for our problem set now. For your problem set today, your must-do problems are 1C, 1D, 1E, and number two. Set a timer or watch the clock for 10 minutes and complete those four problems. If you have additional time in your 10 minutes, feel free to try any of the other problems on the page. All right, you've got it now. So 1C through 1E. So that's going to be 1C, D, and 1E, and then do number two. And um, when you finish those, make sure you put them back in your blue folder or in your math game bag so you can bring them back to school so I can take a look at them and see um, how you did on this lesson. All right, great work, and I'll see you all soon.